If you played any of the 2D fighting games, you've probably seen different palettes that are not from the original game. Well, with custom palettes, and if you wanted to know how to make them, this video will show you using Palmod. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is, obviously, search in Palmod. Once you search it in, go to the index slash release type version, and then you can choose zip.exe or whatever suits you personally. Next, you want to open up Palmod and unload the directory. The software isn't going to immediately recognize your directory for the game that you're going with, so if you're like me and you play Guilty Gear XX Action Core Plus R, then you can follow the directory in the video. After that, then you'll see the sprites for each of the characters in the game. You can now edit them and you see there's all these tiles of different colors. You can also edit the special effect, for example, Soul's Fire, you can make it blue, which I did before. If you want your palettes to look nice, you're gonna have to make it have shading just like the original sprites. So you want to use at least three tones of this of color so that it can look nice and pretty. And once you're all done with editing your palette, you want to go to File, and then Patch in order to get it in the actual name. It's going to show the text box and just click OK, and then you're all set. It should appear in the game and everything you want, it should be in there too. So for my case, I have Blue Flames, since I modded the games out. Blue Flames for Soul. And yeah, that's really it. It's a very quick and simple process. It really depends on the character on how fast it can be. 